guys i welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series so uh, we had started uh, human growth and development i think today we are we'll be able to complete this chapter itself so let's get started we had done uh, most of it we had started yesterday adulthood adulthood i told you we can divide it into two parts um, it's the young adulthood and then you can say middle and late adulthood right so young adulthood you can say it is from 20 years to 40 years your middle and late starts from 40 to 65 you can say 60 65 years because everywhere you can find different numbers so we had talked about in the young adulthood especially the strength is at its best okay vision is best then your uh, skeletal maturity is at its peak, endurance is at its peak, okay? You become an independent entity, you take decisions for the less, rest of your life and all of that, okay? I don't think there is any doubt in this part. Now, let's talk about middle and late adulthood, okay? Late adulthood in the sense that we, we, we are going to cover the senescence period uh, differently, right? So, let us talk about this. Is me kya hota hai? What happens in the middle uh, e, uh, period is that biological changes they generally take place and they are gradual. It is not like it is happening in a day. So, by the, uh, by the time you, you uh, reach your 45 or 50 years a, of age, na, you, do not, you do not actually uh, notice it. But then they start to surface. Theek hai? So, physical, if we talk about physical uh, strength, it is okay. Us time tak bhi good hoti hai. Thik hai? Aisa nahi hai that you'll, you will now start to be very like tired. Thik hai? Obviously, it will not be at its peak. It can be, you can say 85 percent of the, what it used to be at that time, right? But then changes start to happen. And the bigger changes that are, they are the reproductive changes. So, sabse pehle, when you hit the age of between 40 to 50 years, reproductive changes start to happen. So, isme the females see menopause. So, for females, there is a menopause. Okay. Then, then uh, along with the menopause, there is male climateric. Okay. There is male climateric. This is like a decrease in the you can say the 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 sexual uh, your interest in sexual activity start to get very very uh, low okay so it is like that okay so then is my physical changes kya hote hai? what are the apart from the reproductive changes the physical changes are maybe your eyesight becomes progressively less so eyesight thoda sa weak hona start ho jati hai okay that is one thing then focus you can focus less, so focus diminishes. Hai? Then hearing loss starts. So hearing loss starts from you can say around 55 years of age when you become that age. It there is a greater chance of hearing loss. But it happens more in it the tendency is more in men than in the females. Then there is sensitivity, taste sensitivity jo hoti hai na, taste ke liye that begins to decline so thoda sa that is also one issue so these are certain physical changes that you will feel strength vagera decline hone lagti hai so you can just talk about that also so the strength starts to decline this is one thing okay then you can say uh, your life becomes more sedentary so there is chance of uh, heart attacks also Okay, because then after that, because after 60, retirement age ajati and then you start to retire and have a very, uh, you know, like sedentary lifestyle. So, that increases your chances of non-infectious diseases also. Then motor skills become compromised. So, bolte na then after 60, you should drive less because your motor skills gradually decline, right? This is one change that happens. So, kidney function and all of that, but that uh, we will study in the senescence part. Hai? 
बट इसमें भी यू कैन से योर योर अदर ऑर्गन्स द किडनीज द लिवर दे स्टार्ट टू बिकम अ लिटिल कॉम्प्रोमाइज नॉट मोर लिटिल कॉम्प्रोमाइज इन फीमेल्स एज वी आर टॉक्ड अबाउट मेनोपॉज इन मेनोपॉज यू कैन ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट आफ्टर दिस एज द फीमेल कैन नॉट बियर अ चाइल्ड इवन दो मैन कैन डू इट फॉर अ लिटिल लॉन्गर देन फीमेल बट देन फीमेल्स का बाय द एज ऑफ फोर्टी और फोर्टी फाइव यू कैन से बट इंडिया में फोर्टी द मेनोपॉज पीरियड कम्स सो आई थिंक देर इज नो डाउट वी हैव मोस्टली समराइज वॉट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन द मिडल एट अडल्टुड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद इट ओके सो बेसिकली दिस दिस फेज ओके सो दिस इज यू नो यंग एडल्टुड I think I did not show you this slide yesterday, so let's do this also. The phase is uh, of human cycle is considered as the childbearing phase of life, right? So also in context of sexual maturation, the production of viable spermatozoa in boys and oocyte in girls is achieved during the adolescent, but these events mark only the early stages, not the completion of reproductive maturation. So this reproduction, uh, reproductive maturation happens in the adulthood. So the transition is marked by dramatic events such as cessation of height and attainment of full reproductive maturity. Right. So now the growth stops. However, the most striking feature is the stability or homeostasis and its resistance to pathological influences. Now we have talked about a childbearing age. आ जाती है. Your growth stops. You have achieved your peak capacity. Uh, homeostasis is there. and this is the time you have a lot of strength and endurance in yourself and this time your body is uh, more resistant to many of the problems so because immunity be achhi rehti hai so that is why you are not uh, very affected by infectious diseases and all of that because you have achieved your peak uh, immunity right so that is also there and it begin uh, it begins to drop with your late and Uh, uh adulthood late adulthood right so adulthood we had studied i have told you about what happens in adulthood in young adulthood and what happens in the middle late adulthood because jo ye middle late adulthood hai na a lot of things are going to be same in the senescence period so i have not uh, made any differentiation in that way but isme you can what you have to remember is menopause male climacteric then these are certain motor skills and uh, you know you can just talk about the declining capacity of your organs so you can just remember these ye pointers you can just remember and rest are covered in the senescence period right so senescence is also known as the period of or declining stage or negative growth so abhi tak hamara growth aise ja raha tha it was going it was going like this now it will start to fall now because kya hota hai from your your infancy to your uh, adolescent to your adulthood it it grows and then becomes constant then starts to decline right so this is how your aging happens so negative growth in this period starts the negative growth so various organs of the body which are of declining and deteriorating nature take place in the later part of your life so kidney function uh, reduces heart function reduces eyesight reduces hearing loss happens theek hai your body uh, your muscles your knee pain starts all of that starts to happen so in humans aging takes form of a morphological and functional uh, involution as a progressive and irreversible change so you can see the functional ability also declines theek hai and the you, you become a lot like you know thoda sa you start to tire yourself more aap zyada kaam nahi kar sakte all those things happen in the aging and senescence it affects most of the organs and leads to a gradual decline in the activities of the individual for example when you were an adult you could run miles but in the old age you will be barely able to walk so what is this this is the functional decline or the negative growth that a body sees beyond a period so this period of senescence in uh, in, uh, in now comes later because of the advancement in the medical sciences also 
so you can say this is a period beyond 70 years or 65 years okay and this is the time when you uh, retire also so retirement age is also because you it, it is believed that after this age you your functional abilities to work reduces right so all individuals follow the same human cycle that is growth then reproductive maturity senescence and then death so this is what every human has to go through and nobody is uh, immortal in that sense so the pattern of activities from birth to death roughly follows this this path of parabola okay so this is one thing that you have to remember so this is how the your ages aging looks like right so everybody should remember this that nobody is beyond that and everybody has to face this so at the age of 60 plus there is decrease in stature that means your height starts to reduce because the space uh, the space for example your vertebral column theek hai na wo compress hone lag jata hai theek hai that starts to compress because of the compression of vertebral disc theek hai then memory loss can occur reasoning ability will diminish theek hai then mineralization of uh, you know bones become brittle theek hai then more susceptibility to problems like fracture for example if you hurt yourself little bit also there is a chance that you will end up having a fracture which would not happen in the adulthood so decrease decrease in the functional ability also teeth start to loosen up okay decrease in the water content immune system which we were talking about in the adulthood that means us time pe you are immune to many of the pathological problems right because your immune system was very very good it was at its peak but now it becomes too uh, weak it becomes we weaker and the muscles also deteriorate right iske alawa if you have to write any other you can write that sensitivity to cold and heat sensitivity to cold and heat heat also increases increases right this is one thing then your uh, information processing that gets slower so aapke motor coordination right senses motor coordination weak ho jati hai theek hai na senses reduce ho jata hai right dependence increases so again from a independent personality to uh, dependent personality so that starts to uh, become more the skin becomes pale you starts uh, your body starts to lose the elasticity theek hai your subcutaneous fat reduces theek hai na which was there in your uh, adulthood times there is problem of thinning of bone so you can call it osteoporosia theek hai uh, osteoporosis sorry osteoporosis you can call it that taste and smell we have talked about loss of vision sensory uh, psychomotor skills all of that so your uh, this is what we had to study in this chapter and uh, tomorrow we will we'll study about the factors affecting growth and development okay now which i have told you every time also ki genetic factors are there then you have your biomedical factors also many others we'll we'll try to cover it tomorrow right so i hope there is no doubt about this you have understood everything and if you did guys please like share and subscribe thank you